All right, so when you guys get your scratch board today, there's two sides, remember. One is the front, that is what you use the scratch tool on, and one is the back. You're going to start on the back. Find the middle, write your name and your class code, and then you have to draw just the shape of your mask. Yes you have to touch all four sides of the paper then get it approved then cut it out do not draw the mask in the middle of your paper like this it's not even touching any of the sides at all that means it's too small so I'm going to draw the shape of my mask and I'm not going to scratch this board on the table because once I move it around it will scratch the other side and you're not getting another one so you have to be very careful. So I'm making sure to touch the, the edges of the paper. There I touched one, I'm touching two, touching three sides. I didn't touch the top so that means I need to add some pieces to it. So now I'm touching all four sides. Then I'm going to raise my hand. It's going to get a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If it gets a thumbs up from me, that means you're ready to cut. So again, be very careful not to scratch the black side. And don't cut that part off. You have to follow the line. These scraps might be usable, so save the scraps for another part. You can make ears out of these or spikes or something for your mask. Let's check that front out. It's looking good. If you need to add some longer horns or something like this, I have extra pieces it's in the red bin. Over by your grain level. So when it's cleanup time, if there are pieces that we can use again, my number three people are going to put the big usable pieces back in here. If you dig to the bottom, there's some new stuff but I don't need that much so I'm just gonna grab this. You can cut out shapes like this but you have to use the Elmer's glue. The other stuff is not gonna stick. And you want to make sure that the black side is facing the front. Have a little overlapping. Just do a dot dot, not a lot. Be careful not to scratch the black part. Hold it down for a little bit. You can also add more. This has a little cut in it, but no big deal. I'll work around it. That's where the cut is. Maybe I'll draw a big spike here. And I put it by the mass so I could see what shape and how big I should draw it. Draw some more sizes, more shapes. And I'm looking at my idea sheet. My idea sheet has some good shapes. That has like a neck piece, ears, earrings, head pieces, horns, ears, all these different ideas. Remember, just a little dot. Dot on the black side. Then, once you have your shape all done, 
then you're going to raise your hand and ask for a tool. The tool is to draw the patterns, the shapes, the lines, all of these things that you've seen in these examples. If you would like, just raise your hand and ask me to do a hole punch. I can punch out some holes for your eyes and then you can work around those. I want you guys to look at the idea sheets, be influenced by African masks. You could do symmetrical, you could do asymmetrical, which means not symmetrical. This one's not done, but I chose to have one eye punch and one not. That's asymmetrical. There's a letter A in front of it. And then next week, we're going to start to add paper fringe and paper extras. So that is day one and day two is fringe and finishing up the scratch board. Save the best for last. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with.